guys. We are creating this beautiful sort of like sunset vibes um, festival makeup. I also have a really pretty little pop of glitter liner in there. Um, I had so much fun creating this look. This might be one of my favorite combinations I've ever done for my skin as well. I'm like very happy with how a lot of this came out. Um, so if you guys want to see how I created this look, please stick around. Uh, but before we get started, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know that you guys like uh, seeing festival makeup tutorials. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. This is your first time visiting. We would love to have you back. I have all my information is down below in the description box if you guys wanna follow me on social media, uh, check out my other playlists, all that fun stuff. And let's just get started, cause this is gonna be a long one. Grab a snack. Okay, now that we're nice and close up to my face, uh, we're gonna get started on the eyes today. Um, I'm just gonna put my AirPods in because I sort of want to like zone out today and just like listen to some music and catch up on some YouTube videos. So um, I'm going to talk you guys through a lot of this, but um, yeah, I'm also going to be bopping along to some tunes. I've been playing the Ariana Grande album a lot lately. So I've been using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer um, lately as like my eyeshadow base. I really like how much this like cancels out um, all of my veins and it's just like a nice blank canvas for all of the eyeshadow to sit on. I just blend that in with, I think this is a Morphe E8 brush. And then I'm gonna set that with a tiny bit of translucent powder. I've also applied the shadows without setting it and it was perfectly fine, but I like to just take whatever is in the cap, just a tiny, tiny little bit on my brush and just set the concealer in place so it doesn't crease and it's a nice base for everything to sit on top of. Now I did this look on my Instagram stories. I started doing like mini makeup tutorials on there. So if you guys don't follow me there, definitely do. I'm gonna be doing them a lot. Um, I've had a lot of fun filming them, but um, I did the face tutorial version of it. I didn't show you guys how I did the eyes. So today we are recreating. I use the Morphe James Charles palette. For me, this is like, perfect music festival season palette. To start, I used this bright ass orange. I like took um, the names and ended up taping it to the top of my palette here. So that's the color 518. Uh, Morphe brush, this is like a fluffy crease brush. So I've had the most success with covering my brush and then patting the product in and sort of like laying it down where I want it to go and then I blend, but to get the most pigmentation out of this, I pat it in place and then I'll start blending it. But basically this is like our transition crease color. I want it to be very blown out, very warm. So I'm sort of patting this all up above my crease and I'm bringing it inside and Flicking it out a little. I zoomed in enough, I hope you can see. Just sort of placing it like above my crease. The pigmentation on this palette is fucking crazy. You're gonna see with this look. So next I went in with this like reddish orange color called Rusted, I think that's right. And I'm gonna go in with a smaller definer brush. So this is a Morphe E17. I love this for like packing on color. So I'm gonna dip into there and then I'm gonna come under that and really focus it pretty much exactly on my crease. And again, I'm gonna place it first and then I'll blend them both together. But how pretty is that coloring? And I'm gonna bring it onto my outer corner a little bit and start to build that up. And then I'll go back with my brush from before. I didn't add anything to it. And I'll just blend over the top of that I'm not gonna bring this down, I'm only I'm sticking to the very edges and I'm gonna blend them together. So then I used this true red, which this color is crazy. Uh, that's called You're Kidding. This is like one of the shadows that James like talked the most about because I guess it's like really hard to make that color red, but I'm gonna go down and with an even smaller definer brush, this is the Morphe E18, I'm gonna dip into that and I'm focusing that on the outer corner and lower in my crease. So I'm gonna build it up first in the outer corner here. So I'm really packing that on where I want it to be like the brightest and I'm bringing that over my eye a little bit, along my lash line, and then I'm gonna start patting it into the crease. We're doing a cut crease today, so buckle up, bitches. It's like the pigmentation is beautiful on this, honestly. Then I'm gonna go back in with um, the brush that I had my like orangey color on, and I'm just tapping again 
blending that in a little bit, bringing it up, taking my fluffy brush that had the warm orange. I'm gonna dip in a little bit more orange and focus that just on the top, yeah. Sort of like also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I pull my eyebrows up when I'm blending just to give me more like flat um, space on my eye. We're bringing this pretty much like right under the, um, the brow bone. What I'm gonna do before we cut the crease, I'm taking this raspberry shade, which is absolutely beautiful. What is that called? Love that. Get it, I get it. I'm gonna use a really tiny um, smudger brush for the corner, the Morphe E36, and I'm gonna dip into that. Focus that just on the outer corner here and against my lash line. It's like a really pretty like sangria, like wine color. And then I'll take the brush that had my red on it and just stamp over the edges there. Keep that color really low. And then I'm going again back up the line, stamping that in. So it's nice and blended. So I'm gonna take my same ColourPop concealer and then I'm gonna cut my crease. So I like to use any really thin, I don't know if you guys can see, um, flat brush. This is a Morphe brush, um, but whatever kind of works. It's got a nice like curve on it and it's really skinny and flat, so that's what's ideal. So I take a little concealer on the back of my hand. Now I'm gonna dip my brush in there. I'm gonna first place the concealer on the lid, keeping it more towards my inner corner, and then I'm gonna look up and see how that created like a line there. That's letting me know that that's how high I have to cut my crease. So I'm basically just patting the concealer in place and I'm gonna draw a line to go meet the top there and then I'm gonna just drag the concealer very very light light padding motions because I'm sort of gonna create like a gradient effect and I really want to cut the inner corner so we'll go like that and then I usually turn my brush over so the side that does not have concealer on it and I pat out the edges just to blend that in so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put a layer down of this the white shade um, just to make that really bright and exaggerate the cut crease a little bit more. So I'm gonna use like a flat eyeshadow brush. This is a Morphe brush. I'm just gonna do like a light coating to set it with the white. It didn't do anything like too crazy. Um, like you really have to build up this white to get it like extremely bright, but cool. And now the fun part, which is the color I really, really, really love in this palette. I wanted to play with this bright yellow, which is called B. It's beautiful. Um, we are gonna be putting that over the white and uh, building up this sort of like sunset look. I use the, other, the same brush, I'm just turning it over and I'm really digging into this yellow. Again, these are like pressed pigments, so we need to it's so pretty. We're gonna build that color up. I am pressing that all over where we cut the crease. I just added so much, I love it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is that really tiny brush that originally had the raspberry color on it, I'm gonna dip into the raspberry and build up the outer corner again because we lost some of that darkness and wait till you see how these colors like mesh together, it's beautiful. So I'm coming along the lash line and sticking to the outer corner here. And then where that cut crease line is, I'm gonna go right above it just to darken, darken that cut crease a little. And then I'm gonna take my brush from earlier that had like orangey red color. I'm gonna dip the tiniest amount on my brush and I'm gonna go over the area where the raspberry meets the yellow and just blend them together so that it's like a nice gradient and it's not like a harsh meeting of colors there. And then I'm gonna go above the crease again. And then I'm gonna take my brush that had the orange on it from the very, very beginning and go all over it, pretty much under my brow. I'm gonna take my pinky and dip into the yellow and just pat a little bit more on top. I'm taking the uh, Urban Decay, what is this, like electric liner, heavy metal liner in Midnight Cowboy. It's beautiful gold shade. I'm gonna do a small line basically following the cut crease. I never do like a thin line when I do this. It always ends up being like chunky. Have to do it so it's like above your crease otherwise if you like look up or anything it'll smudge so do it like a little higher than you think you're gonna need to I'm 
going to put a little small bit of black eyeliner on the top um, outer edge of my lash line because we're going to be put, putting lashes on later so I want them to like blend into my lashes. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of black liner and I'm basically pushing it in between my lashes so that the um, lash band when I put it on blends in. You can just take a clean brush and sort of just smudge that a tiny bit so it blends in. I just put lash glue on my lashes. I'm gonna be using the Sasha lashes from Huda Beauty. They're a really, really beautiful lash. I haven't used them in a while, but um, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna pop um, a highlight in my brow bone, like light champagne -y color called Ring Light, um, right under my brow bone. I just did my brows with the um, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, and I use the Essence like Clear um, Brow Mascara just to set them in place. Put it like right in the center under my brow and drag it out. But I like to focus it like right in the center there. I I cannot resist like a shiny, shimmery um, brow highlight, especially for a festival. I'm just gonna use the makeup remover wipes because we do have some fallout under our eyes and I wanna clean up the corner here. Um, that's why anytime I do an eye like this that's like super bright or if it's really smoky, I do my eyes first. Otherwise, I like to do my foundation and stuff first. So I'm just gonna take out my finger and clean up any fallout right up under there and make a nice sharp line so these are the sasha lashes i like these a lot because like i have a smaller lid space um so i don't want lashes that are like too um curled up these sort of like flare out and they're a little bit lengthening and i, I don't know i absolutely love these so i also tight lined the top of my lash line with the 24 7 glide on pencil from urban decay and this is a purple shade it's called riot it's like really dark plum shade it's beautiful carbon black mascara basically i just push my natural lashes into the falsies so there's no like separation when you like look to the side before we get started i am a little bit on the drier side i would say i'm like drier to maybe combo normal skin but i'm gonna use the rose water facial toner from trader joe's this shit is amazing i love trader joe's if you're new here hi i'm emma and i love trader joe's Again, I already moisturized as well. Also gonna be using a hydrating primer. This is from Maybelline, the Master Prime. I think this like really blurs my pores. And again, it's like a thicker consistency. So I apply that in the center of my face, on my forehead. And I start on the center of my face and then I work it out. Today I actually want to try using the Light Illusion Foundation from Flower Beauty. I've used this once before. It's just, it was a little too light, um, the shade that I picked, but it's a really dewy, natural looking foundation. I'm gonna do like two pumps. Pat this on. I remember the coverage being nice. I haven't self tanned or anything in like a while, so maybe it'll be fine. I'm gonna use my Morphe M439, my favorite foundation brush. I just love how quick a brush is. I don't know, I've been like way more of a brush bitch lately than uh, the sponge, but my beauty lights around me, but I feel like it's a good match. Wow, I'm paler than I thought I was, okay. I'm gonna take a tiny bit more just to build up the coverage, and I'm gonna use a sponge and just go over my whole face with the sponge to push it in. And this is an e.l.f. sponge, I love this sponge, it's like a weird texture, different than like the Beauty Blender sponge, but it is like a nice size. It gets super soft, really nice and smooth, and like super dewy, if you can see that. For concealer today, I'm using my favorite Too Faced um, Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. I'm in the color Nude. This is my favorite concealer. It's super high coverage. It's very hydrating. And then I'm taking a tiny bit of the ColourPop because this is really brightening. Again, I picked a really light color. And I'm just focusing that on like the very inner corner and like against my the bridge of my nose. Forgot to do my cream contour first, but just wait until you see the amount of coverage. It's like crazy. And the ColourPop concealer is really beautiful too. Like, bitch, where did your under eye go? It also sat really nicely against this Flower Beauty foundation, so that's good. I feel flawless right now. Cream contour a tiny bit with the Bobbi Brown foundation stick in Golden Almond. I'm loving a good nose contour lately. I use a Real Techniques foundation buffer brush and I blend that into my temples, the top of my forehead, basically anywhere that I want to contour. This blends so easily, it's like my favorite cream contour. And I just use my fingers for my nose 
and I sort of drag it in and up. I'll take whatever concealer is left over and I'll go straight down the middle with that just to clean it up a bit and then I go along the side. So now we're gonna set it with powder. This is my favorite powder of all time. I just had to go buy a new one. This is the Maybelline Loose um, Setting Powder and I'm in the shade light. I'm gonna be dipping my damp beauty blender in here and I'm gonna be baking under my eye. Take whatever's left of it and just pat it on the rest of my face. All my forehead because my forehead if anything is the area that gets oily and creases so then I usually just take like a big fluffy powder brush and I just like push it in so we're gonna do bronzer I'm using the Becca uh, I think this is the sunset waves bronzer it's beautiful thing a Morphe R2 it's like a tapered bronzer brush and then I'll put a little bit under my jaw and bring it down my neck Snatch that jawline. I'm gonna take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette um, and I'm gonna contour with the medium and the lightest shade. And I use a Morphe R10 brush. And I usually focus this on the outer portion of my face, almost towards my ear, and I bring it up and I'm patting it in. My nose, I use this little brush here from Morphe as well, the Morphe E47. And I'm gonna contour my nose, sort of like stamp it in a straight line. And then I come under here to shorten my nose a little. Okay, and then I usually take the beauty blender and I just blend that in. I'm gonna wipe away the bakage under my eye. Usually I take my beauty blender that's still a little damp and I just press under my eye because I don't want it to be like too dry and that always feels so nice afterwards. Um, I'm also gonna take from the Shade and Light palette this yellow and then a little bit of this peach shade on my beauty blender. And I'm gonna brighten even more under my eye. So I'm gonna pop this in and go along the nose contour to like snatch it up a little bit more. For blush, I'm using this Too Faced Love Flush Love Hangover Blush. I like pigmented blushes. I really just like a lot of color and these are super pigmented. I just think it makes you look so cute. I lock all this in place with the um, Fix Plus. Feeling like a dewy ass bitch too. Okay. I'm gonna put some highlighter on now. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Amrezy Beautifulness. It's so fucking pretty. Uh, I like to put this on after I sprayed because it just makes it look even more brightening in your face, beaming highlighter. This is a Morphe um, 510. I don't know what it is about this highlighting brush, but it just makes all of my highlighters look even more amazing. I'm gonna dig in there and we're just gonna go over. And then I take what's left and I go right over my eyebrow and then I'll dip a tiny bit more and I'll go right on the top of my forehead there. I'm gonna do a highlight on my nose. Make us look like we have a super cute, tiny little nose. I feel like a new woman right now. Okay. Eyes, we just need to finish them off. I'm gonna line my waterline again with this like plum shade eyeliner. Dipping back into the palette. Under the eye with this orange um, peachy shade from the beginning. I'm gonna use a really dense um, smudger brush. This is a Morphe brush. I love like I love this for packing on like right under the eye. But we are really gonna be packing that color underneath there and bringing it down and i'm bringing it into the inner corner as well and connecting it with the top and just smudge it down take the brush um from the earlier which had the orange on it and dip a little bit more orange and i'm going to come under that mainly towards like the outer corner of my eye and i'm dragging it down pretty far like i'm almost coming to my highlight here you know and i'm going to just use like a small inner corner brush and i'm going to dip into that yellow b color and i'm going to make sure that we get, yeah, this like yellow pigmentation really bright in the inner corner here. I'll sort of connect that again with the top of the lash line. Okay, now for the fun part. I wanna combine the raspberry shade here and then also this like fuchsia-y purple. It's really bright purple because I want it to be like very sunset-y vibes. I'm gonna use that same blender that we had the raspberry on and I'm gonna go right up against my lash line. like basically whatever definer brush you can find or like an eyeliner or something like really dense and tight and small I'm gonna go in with that plum in here there's like a plum dark purple and I'm gonna press this directly on my lash line and apply some uh, mascara to my bottom lashes this is the same um, carbon black from L'Oreal 
I let that dry. Okay, so for lip, things going on here. First, I'm gonna line it with the Kylie Cosmetics um, Candy K Lip Liner. I'm gonna go with two colors. We're gonna try this one first. This is also Kylie Cosmetics. I think this is a matte liquid lipstick in the shade. I'll read that. Commander. Should be like a peachier. Oh, that's really pretty, actually. Yo, what a bomb combination. Okay, and then I have this really light one from her too. This is in um, Naked. I'm gonna put this right in the center because it's light. Uh, we are pretty much all done here. I'm gonna seal it in one more time. This is the completed look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This was so much fun to film. This video is probably going to be like a million years long. But thank you guys for sticking around to the end. Hope you recreate this look on your own. Again, thank you guys for watching and thank you for subscribing. You guys can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter. All my information is down below in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.